I, I totally agree. Look, any any dissatisfaction expressed should be treated as a complaint. It's still some form of friction or dissatisfaction someone has. They're still they're telling you because they want a resolution, mm-hmm. and ultimately you want to stop that happening again for them and for others. That that's a complaint, isn't it? Um, the the post I actually did, I, I, ironically, was was talking about a company that I used to work for, where one of the senior team had decided we were getting too many complaints. And therefore, we were going to redefine what a complaint was. So it wasn't just all dissatisfaction. It was if the dissatisfaction was criteria A and criteria B, that was that was a complaint. Anything else was just the customer wasn't very happy. And it's like, you've got that so wrong that, that it's not going to work. So, um, wrong. so, yeah. so yeah, I agree. Any any form of dissatisfaction is is showing you there's something wrong with that part of the customer journey or there's something wrong with maybe a person within your business at times. I mean, that's that's not unheard of. Before now, I've worked in businesses where it's actually that there's a particular person that, that's quite prickly and customers just can't gel with that person. And that person actually needs to be removed from that front-line role. Yeah, that's a lovely description of them. Prickly. Prickly, yeah, prickly. <laughs> well, you, you don't want to pick a hedgehog up, do you? I mean, you don't want to deal with picking a hedgehog up and that's, that's sometimes what people are like. Oh, Cara, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's been fantastic chatting with you and hearing somebody talk about complaints and expressions of dissatisfaction in such a positive way. And knowing, I think for people listening, knowing there is a process that you can implement that can help you resolve those complaints, handle them better and turn those complainers into loyal client relationships, right? Absolutely, absolutely. Look, it's it's been fantastic. Thank you for uh, thank you for letting me come on, and I'll I'll step off my soapbox now. But as, as you can see, I'm quite passionate about complaints. I really do think that people think about them as as being that you know that that horrible relative you don't want to deal with, you don't want to see. Far from it. They they should be. We should open up the floodgates to to our complaints and deal with them and think about them in a different way. And, and thank you for giving me the opportunity to to talk about that.